All right, I wanted to show you guys the aftermath of the uh, stripping of the spray paint on the top of each side and the front panel of this MK2 uh, cabinet. As you can see, I put some work into this today. Um, the list of what I did today, I put the marquee in that came in. Um, I stripped both sides and the front and sides of both control panel um, as well as the cabinet. <clears throat> um, it came out, I, you know, I don't know, not, not perfect. Um, I thought it was a sticker that was over the MK2 on the sides and on the front, but it ended up being some kind of a special paint sticker or something like that, and it really had some problems getting it off. Um, so there's a little bit of scratching, uh, scratch marks on the front and on one side. This side here looks great. But if, as you get closer, you can kind of see, you know, a little bit of the white came off here. That's not a big deal. You, know, you can kind of just put that back up and with a little adhesive or something. But you can kind of see a little bit of the orange residue right here still. And how it's a little scratched underneath here from when you know I either tried to get it off or whatever. But I mean the the dragon came out almost perfect. There's a little dent right here in it. Um, but other than that, it looks great for this side. I put the monitor and a uh, plastic you know monitor bezel in there. There's the marquee. Um, I pre-drilled the Lexan overlay and installed the brand new control panel overlay. I'm waiting for all the buttons and everything, so I just kind of put it with the with the plastic you know, uh, protective uh, coating over that left it on there to protect it. Put new security screws in all the way around. Here's the front panel. This came out pretty good too. You know, you can see both both of the dragons came out uh, very, very nice. But once again, right in here, you can see some scratching and how some of that orange paint, just kind of a little bit of residue here, here. What I used this time was I used the citrus strip again, um, but I also used a magic eraser, actually three of them, along with uh, non-diluted, it's the concentrated simple green right here. Uh, and that worked really well. Uh, it the, the wasn't too aggressive, didn't, didn't do any scratching. Here's one side of the control panel, almost perfect. Now i got to kind of clean it up. There's a little bit of residue all around the edge here, but I mean it looks pretty good there. Here's this side here. Again, came out pretty nice. Um, you know, somebody must have bumped up against it right here, but uh, the full midway is displayed, which is nice. i got to kind of clean it up again once again here. This side didn't come out as good as you can see. Um, it's kind of scratched up a little bit throughout here. But again, the dragon came out nice. And once again, I got to clean that up. But you know, it came out pretty nice. Um, you know, this isn't a perfect cabinet, but this is going to make somebody a nice cabinet for their house. Um, put a brand new chassis in here. I don't know if you can see it right there. I bought that on eBay actually for about 50 bucks. Um, it works absolutely perfect. The picture looks fantastic. So this is going to be a nice machine. This is going to be like a new machine when it's all said and done. I gotta get some joysticks and buttons, T molding. Um, I gotta get a dedicated JAMA harness because, as you can see in here, there's nothing except for the control board. So I got a little bit of work left, but I did all the hard work. You know, the wiring and stuff like that's fairly easy. But I just wanted to show you guys that I did save another Mortal Kombat 2 from destruction. And uh, someday somebody will have this. I'm gonna put it on Craigslist and eBay after I'm done with it. And I'm not gonna ask a lot for it, but you know, I gotta recoup at least my investment for having fun with it. So. I guess you can call this part two. Part three will be when I put uh, the joysticks, buttons, and uh, hopefully a jamma harness in here and uh, get the game up and running. I'll make a video of how nice it looks. So thanks for watching.